गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू अकाउंटेंसी क्लासेस ऑफ श्री महावीर इंटरनेशनल स्कूल लेट स्टार्ट विद द नेक्स्ट कंटेंट कंसेप्ट एज यू नो दैट इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव क्लियर अबाउट द टॉपिक दैट वॉज इंटरेस्ट ऑन ड्रॉइंग एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक दैट इज इंटरेस्ट ऑन कैलकुलेटिंग सिंपली वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड इंटरेस्ट ऑन कैपिटल इन सम क्वेश्चन बट हियर इज अ ब्रोड कंसेप्ट रिलेटेड टू इंटरेस्ट ऑन कैपिटल there may be some certain conditions that how we will treat interest on capital as in our previous videos i have cleared one point to you that is charge against profit and appropriation of profit what are the meanings of these two points charge against profit means a firm has to pay that expense which is charged against profit whether there is profit or loss to the firm so whenever there is interest on capital in the question and it is charged against profit then a firm has to pay it compulsory it will be compulsory for a firm that it has to pay whether there is profit or loss to the firm okay but if there is appropriation of profit then in that condition firm will pay interest on capital only when there is a profit let's understand some conditions of this like first condition what can be the first condition that when partnership deed is signed regarding interest on capital as i told you that whenever partners start partnership they have to maintain a partnership deed in that all the conditions are written related to partnership okay so if your partnership deed is silent regarding interest on capital there is no any code of interest on capital in your deed then how we will treat interest on capital so the treatment will be that there will be there will not be any interest on capital if partnership deed is silent so interest on capital will not be given to the partners okay this is the first condition second condition if interest on capital is less than available profits if interest on capital is less than available profits how suppose that there are 50000 rupees profit of the firm profit of the firm is 50000 rupees and interest on capital of two partners suppose that there are two partners in the firm and interest on capital of both partners are 40000 okay so easily a firm can pay that 40000 to the partners right because profits are 50000 you have available profit there are sufficient for the interest on capital so easily you can provide full interest on capital to the partners so if your interest on capital is less than available profits in that condition full interest on capital will be given but if there is no so no interest on capital will be given to the partners in this also there may be three conditions in case of loss suppose that if there is loss to the firm in that condition no interest on capital because it is not written in the condition that it is charge against profit or appropriation of profit so in the absence of any information we will assume it appropriation of profit so when there is appropriation of profit and there is loss to the firm so no interest on capital will be second condition if there is profit and profits it may be more than interest if your profits are more than interest so full interest on capital will be given full interest on capital will be given okay third condition may be if profits are no sufficient means you can reverse the second condition that your interest on capital are rupees 50000 and profits are only of rupees 40000 then what will you do 
you will distribute only the available profits among the partners. Okay, suppose that interest on capital is 50,000 rupees and how this 50,000 is assumed there are two partners in the firm. Interest on capital of partner A that is 40,000 and partner B that is 10,000. Okay, it means what is the ratio of their interest on capital? It is 4 is to 1. Right? So, the available profits, whatever the available profits are there in the firm, that profits will be distributed in the ratio is 4, 4 is to 1. So, this will be the third condition. And if your profits are not sufficient, so in that condition, available profits will be distributed among the partners in the ratio of interest on capitals. Right? Let's see the third condition. If interest on capital is treated as charge against profit, this is the most important point. Charge against profit. Charge against profit means that you have to pay whether there is profit or loss. So, in this condition, what we will treat that we will pay full interest on capital. It doesn't matter that how much is the profit of the firm. It doesn't matter. You have to pay full interest to the partners because your interest on capital is charged against profit in this condition. Okay. I am taking one question that is that will include all these conditions. So, easily it will be understandable to you. Okay. Question number 35. The study of question number 35. In this, some cases are given. And on the basis of these cases, we have to prepare the others. Yes, question number 35 is X and Y are partners sharing the profits and losses in the ratio of 2 to 1 with capitals of 50,000 and 30,000 respectively. Show the distribution of profits in each of the following alternative cases. First case. Yes, so what will you write here? Right of, first of all, by profits for the year. What are the profits? 9000. 9000 is the available profit. Now you know that partnership is silent, so no interest on capital will be given. So available profits will be distributed among the partners in their profit sharing ratio. Right? So just close this account 9000. 9000 and this 9000 will be distributed among the partners. We will write here two partners capital account. What is the name of partners here? X and Y and the profit sharing ratio is 2 is to 1. So we will distribute like this 9000 multiply. First of all, they share 2 and 1. And the denominator will be the sum of these ratios, means 2 plus 1, 3. So, 6,000 rupees for X and 3,000 rupees for Y. So, the profits of both partners will be 6,000 and 3,000, right? Now, case second. 
Case second is if the partnership deal provides more interest on capital. If partnership deal provides for interest on capital and the rate of six percent and losses and losses for the year. Losses for the year is rupees six thousand. This is the case second. In this condition, partnership deal is providing interest on capital at the rate of six percent, right? But losses for the year is six thousand. Now you have losses. Now the firm is suffering losses. It means in the condition of loss, we don't provide interest on capital, right? And you know that when there is loss to the firm, we don't prepare P and L allocation account also. We will prepare only P and L account. So in this also we will prepare that is particular amount, particular amount. So first of all, write the loss to losses for the year. Six thousand. Yes, and distribute these losses among the partners. By partners capital account. Partners are X and Y. Same distribution means six thousand multiplied by two upon three and one upon three. Four thousand for X, two thousand for Y. So like this, six thousand will be the loss that is bear by X and Y. Right? Now case third. If the partnership deal provides for interest on capital at the rate of six percent, that is the same interest on capital at the rate of six percent per annum, and profits for the year are nine thousand rupees. Profits for the year are rupees nine thousand. Interest on capital six percent and profits nine thousand. So just first of all prepare P and L appropriation account. Particular amount, particular amount. This will be the format of every user account. Try to remind this point. Yes. First of all, you should check that what is the amount of interest on capital of both partners. Means whether your profit is sufficient or not. So I am just preparing a working note for calculation of interest on capital. X and Y. What is their capital in the question? Fifty thousand and thirty thousand. And the interest on capital that is rate six percent. So for first partner it will be three thousand, and for second partner it will be eighteen hundred. Means interest on capital is four thousand eight hundred, and profit is nine thousand. It means your profit is sufficient. So first of all write here by profits for the year. Nine thousand rupees to interest on capital for X and for Y. Three thousand for X, eighteen hundred for Y. So total interest on capital is four thousand eight hundred. So remaining profits now will be distributed among the partners. Out of nine thousand, interest on capital is given four thousand eight hundred. 
So calculate what is the remaining profit. It is four thousand two hundred. So write here two partners capital account. X and Y. Four thousand two hundred will be distributed in the profit sharing ratio. That is choose you one. 4200 multiplied by 2 upon 3 and 4200 multiplied by 1 upon 3. So for first partner it will be 2800, for second partner it will be 1400. This is in the third case. Again I am revising these three cases. What is there in first case? Partnership will go silent for interest on capital. So no interest on capital will be given. Whole profit will be distributed among the partners. Okay. In second case, partnership rate is providing interest, but there is loss to the firm. So, in the case of loss, we don't provide interest on capital. So, whole losses will be distributed among the partners. In third case, interest on capital at the rate of 6% and profits are 9,000 rupees. So, first of all, we have to calculate interest on capital because we should check that our profits are sufficient or not for giving interest on capital. So, we calculated here interest that is 3000 and 1800 means interest is only 4800 and our profit is 9000 so it means profit is sufficient for giving interest. So first of all we distributed interest. After giving interest the remaining profit is 4200 that we distributed among the partners in their profit sharing ratio. Okay. Now let's see fourth case. What is the fourth case? If the partnership rate provides interest on capital at the rate of 6%, interest on capital at the rate of 6% per annum, this is given by partnership rate and profits for the year are 3000 rupees. First of all, write down particular amount, particular amount by profits for the year that is 3000 rupees and write down two interest on capital for X and Y. The ratio is 3000 is to 1800. So, what will be the ratio? 5 is to 3. So, distribute this amount in 5 is to 3, means 5 upon 8 and 3000 multiplied by 3 upon 8. Do the calculation of this. Yes, 